Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Imperion. All right, guys, I have been bouncing all over the place trying to get some things done. And I had a message the other day that told me to go to the Baba here system and that I would find a ton of methane moons. Yes. Methane moons. That is where it's at. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go get some bodium. Now I was finally able to get the drill crafted up and... Like I said, I've been back and forth doing this, doing that. I've got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I've been everywhere. Been doing all kinds of things. Not not quite where I need to be. We still got a lot of Odium we've got to go collect. But, you know, I think nine different planets of Odium should come up with quite a bit. In fact, I don't know if I can handle all nine planets at once. We might have to drop off and come back. I'm not sure what the weight calculates to, and I've got some junk on my ship. So, we will see, we will see, we will see what happens. Right. And that is a whole lot of Xerax stuff. What do we got here? Housed Gist Defense Station. Okay. We've got some wreckage. We've got the Rados cargo dock. Those usually have some goodies in there. One of Triggered's favorite POIs right there. I always have to stop whenever he's with me. Why does that look like it's turning at me? Is it the angle I'm moving at? I. Okay. Do I have my guns turned off? I think I might have my guns turned No, we hit the asteroid field. Hang on. Hang on. Back it out. Back it out. No, I got stuck. Break free. Full reverse. All right. Anyway, back to back to looking at things. I'm pretty sure that Triggered might have uh, put some rail guns on here. I know he was testing them out the other day. Now, oh, yeah, right there. One of the heavy rail guns. Um, let's see. We'll just let me go ahead and auto group. Turn the bases back on, turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. Apply. There we go. Okay, and let's see. Oh, you know what? I bet you that's it. Yellow markers on a yellow planet. Very hard to see. Okay. Let's get over here and let's get some Vodium, shall we? jumpy thing. Hold on. Ah. 
Okay. Let me see. Let me go down to here. Let me connect to there. There it is. Harvest 30 Vodium. Nice. Very nice. We'll probably have to come to the back door. All right, well that's one deposit down. Is there anything on this planet that we need? Uh, let's see, there is Neo, there is some Sathium. You know, I think we're going to skip all of that. Uh, if we need to, we can always come back and get it. But I think for right now, with as much Vodium as out here, I think we just need to try to focus on that. Okay. You're not going to... There you go. What is all this stuff? Things. And off we go. Okay. We'll just float over here. Let's see what kind of... Got a couple Xerox things out here. That's about it. What's in the space? Silicone, titanium, aluminum, and pentaxid. We've got plenty of all of that. So yeah, all we got to do is cruise on down to the planet. We'll get that knocked out really quick. We might have to we might have to stop and do some POIs at some point, but for right now we're gonna get a little bit of odium done. I need to I need to go get some more uh more drone parts as well. I've been trying to get a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, I've been trying to bounce back and forth in between them to kind of break up the, the, I don't know if I want to say monotonousness of it, but it's a grind. It is most definitely a grind. 100%. Okay, where is... Hmm. Okay, this moon's a little bit bigger, so it looks like we're going to have to go looking for this one. What all's on this moon? What is that? Neo? Neo, Sathium, Promethium, Copper? Okay. head over here to the little grouping of uh, purple markers. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, 
we'll add a little bit to the uh, to the 30 mil because you never know when we're gonna have to shoot something and it always seems like I'm running out of 30 mil we gotta stay on top of all that Very, very yellow. So how is everybody enjoying 1.6 so far? Have we noticed any differences, any changes, any, any, anything? Okay, so those are not what I was looking for. We'll just cruise on pad there it is down there. All right, we'll head over here in this direction. Pick this stuff up real fast. No, why? Why am I not connected to my container? No, I wasn't able to pick it all up. How much is left? Oh, that's a lot. Hold on. Ooh, that is not good. Uh, I need... Oh, this is going to be hor horrible right here. 21. I don't know if I have enough storage. Hold on. Ammo container. Ammo container. Got it. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to go back home and we're going to have to empty out the ship because, yeah, that's uh, that's some heavy stuff. That is some really, really heavy stuff. That was like, what, we got two of them? On this well, we had two, plus we had a little bit extra from the other go-around. So, yeah, we had, we had a little bit of stuff. And, yeah, I could throw off some of that stuff into my factory and make it a little bit lighter but it's not gonna not gonna change all that much okay well we tried Yeah, almost makes me want to get the big ship out just so that I have, like, a ton of storage, but I don't want to bring the big ship down to a planet. I really don't. If I can avoid it, I will. Most definitely. All right, let's see how far away are we from our base, because we're probably going to have to make several trips. Okay, why is M not opening my map? There it is. Hey, we're only 50 light years away, so that's only two jumps we got to make. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head back to the base so I can drop this stuff off, and I will be back here in just a moment. Okay, guys. I am back over looking for methane moons. Where is that methane moon at? Did I? Oh, there it is. I was about to say, did I click on the wrong one? That happens every once in a while. Uh, no, 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 no. We're in the right one. So I have done decided that it is going to take a lot of time to get that much volume. 
Um, not, it, you know, the fact that we can only get so much per planet is going to take a while. But the fact that we can only hold so much is going to take even longer. So, yeah. I went ahead and I emptied out a little bit of the ship. I didn't uh, I didn't empty out like the cargo cargo stuff like the resources just for the simple fact that I unloaded at the base and all of my boxes at the base are now pretty much full. And I've got stuff in the base. I've got Vodium in the ship. I've got I, I think I split Vodium up into like a couple different spots just to just to hold it all um yeah i knew it was heavy i knew it i knew i was gonna have a lot but i was trying to store everything before just you know going and crafting and doing this and doing that but that might be a little bit hard to do so i might have to craft some of the stuff in small little batches and get a little bit done here a little bit done there that type of thing because yeah it's it's most definitely a a storage thing. So I, I do plan on working on the base, though, at some point. Expanding it. I might throw in a couple more storages just so that I do have the ability to, you know, hold several deposits worth of Vodium on the ship. But, uh, I don't know. It, trying, to, trying to have too many of them, that's going to offset the balance with the solar. And I really don't want to offset it too much. So we'll see what happens. So I might add in some more. I might not. It just depends. And we are almost to the moon. But yes, it is a journey. A long, long, long journey. All right, let's see. Oh, no, not up there, not over there. Okay, so we're going to have to cruise around on this planet for a minute. Let's go ahead and drop down so we can at least identify some resources. Sathium Silo, okay. So anyway, I was sitting here thinking, as we're, you know, going back and forth, doing this, doing that, you know, to to break it up a little bit, I think if there was some, some sort of, like, missions, or like a quest, or, you know, something, something to go along with the Vodium, like a little side type thing, it might help, uh, it might help things out just a little bit, I don't know exactly what what my suggestion would be but you know kind of I don't know I I guess it really depends on how you play the game but yeah just like from what I've been doing just you know going with things there it is up there hold on let me mark this there we go kind of like the way I've been doing things we just you know got to the end of the game and now, you know, and, and I might have done it wrong, but I'm trying to figure out, like, a better order to do things in. Because now that I'm searching for Vodium, to me, it would make sense to look for the different stars and all that stuff. But yet, all the resources or the, the, the gains from those missions should have been done, like, early on. And, yeah, I'm, like, confused here. I'm, like, there should be something a little bit more to it. I don't know. Going off of what people have told me. Things. Suggestions. Trying to keep people happy. Trying to keep things lively. I know once it gets to this point in the game, a lot of people... A lot of people get Empyreon out, if you will, by the time they reach this stage. And that is sad, because this is like the beginning of like a whole new thing... 
and you don't want people to give up once they get to this. Alright, let me go into here. Let me connect there. We've got completely empty storage. Yeah, 225,000 volume for 30 of those. That is quite the, uh, quite the haul. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Uh, let's see, is there anything here? No, th these are all identical. So I wonder, you know, I almost guarantee every methane moon is going to have the same list of resources. I was hoping that maybe I could find some Zass or maybe some Ar Arrestrum, but I think they're all going to be copies of each other as far as the resources go. Which kind of makes sense. I like variety, though. Y'all know me. I like things. I want things. I like surprises. Uh, so where are we at right now? We're on 6. No, we're on 11. Okay, so I need to go up to 9. I can do that. Okay, where'd you go? There you are. Okay, one more moon. So let me turn that off and let me see now. Okay, so we can put a tiny bit more in here and then I'll be able to put a little bit in here because like I said, we still got a bunch of resources in there. Then I could put a tiny bit in here. So I'm thinking at most... I'm going to be able to do two more planets so I can do this one and then number 10 and then we're going to have to come back. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit. This is most definitely going to take a little bit to uh, go back and forth and get all that. Gonna have to build a ship that's just nothing more than a Vodium transporter. Yeah, we're gonna avoid that refinery. They like to call in dreadnoughts. And I don't need to be messing with dreadnoughts while I'm hauling Vodium. Or I should say Voidium. I know I've been calling it Vodium again. I'm I'm probably always gonna call it that, guys. I don't know why. Vodium just sounds better than Voidium. I don't know. Too many eyes in Voidium for me. I like it a little simpler. Now, something something that's been on my mind. The Voidium and the Void POIs, are those related in any sort of way? Does anybody know? Can anybody tell me? Is there a correlation there? Okay. Yeah, that's it. So hard to see. No, hold on, hold on, what? Oh no, that's the other planet. Okay, yeah. We're facing the right direction. Just had to double check it.
That was weird. A little tear in the uh whoa, there we go. A little tear in the in the map plane. Alright, let me connect to this one. Oh, it didn't let me pick up any of it. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, so it can hold 42 all together. Nice. All right, guys. Well, this this is a journey. 100% this is a journey, and I'm not going to bring y'all with me to every single planet because that would just be way too long. But this is my future for the next couple of days is I'm going to be searching, hunting, looking for Voidium. Then we're going to go get some, probably go get some more drone harvester parts, so we're going to have to go mess with that. Um, I'd like to go over and see that T-class planet again. I think uh, I think that one could hold some uh, hold some good possibilities there. I think that's what it was. I think it was a T that had all the drone swarms on it, if I remember correctly. So, but anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for me today. I do hope everybody has enjoyed today's video. If you have, be sure to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. And I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.